Well, hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of The Live with Naz, an hour of laughter and encouragement coming to you from Southern California. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's see who is joining us tonight. Okay, and show number 398. Alrighty, let's see. Show number 398. Come on, please. Thank you. All right. Let's see. Let's get everyone going. And here we go. Okay, okay. And let's bring people from the other side to join us in this beautiful Tuesday night. Okay. Come on. Sorry about the delay. Just trying to get all the stuff together and also trying to do the the la finishing the podcast which i hope you had the chance to watch let's see inviting people from the other side to join us on show number 398 people 398 come on give me comedian nazareth go here and let's invite the other side to us yes all right they are with us hello 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 let's see who is here with us let's start with sarah sarah how are you sarah votes from washington state with her mother becky votes from washington state come on bobby miller how are you and let's see Catherine allen welcome three plus seven equals eight that sounds great to me naz is visible yes Sometimes the camera plays games, but other times it doesn't. Hello, 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 beautiful people. Michael Ramirez is here. And let's see, Becky Ottenberry, welcome to the show. Debbie Malone, how are you? Hello again, Dolores. We got the three musketeers, Dolores, Debbie, and Becky from Louisiana. The sisters, Rochelle from beautiful Oregon is with us. Hello, people from the other side. And let's see who else. 3 plus 9 equals 8. That's better accounting. All right, Michael, Naz, did Carol have to miss school because the guy makes threats? Yes. Carol was supposed to be in school after they opened, but they have a crazy guy from the philosophy department making threats. So she stayed home. She'll be home tomorrow. So uh, that's okay. And John, actually, right now, is driving from Nashville to a little town in Illinois where he will be working. If you have TikTok, you know this yodeling kid at Walmart. The yodeling kid at Walmart. John is going to help him with his TikTok videos. So he is right now on the 24 freeway. He is in Kentucky right now, getting close to Paducah, Kentucky, and on his way to glad something i don't know what town it is it's in illinois but he is in paducah i happen to do the convention center in paducah kentucky for the christian radio station american family radio right there uh in paducah kentucky i remember headlining this uh and what i remember about this event is i was doing the comedy and finished and there was a guy as uh, sweeping so you know me i love janitors i love people who clean i got this i went and started talking to him only to find out he owned that convention center in paducah he was the owner and he was sweeping the floors it just blew me away he goes hey you did a great show great audience great turnout you think the guy is just sitting counting the money he's no he was Sweeping the floor. What a guy. What a guy. Okay, let's see. It's okay, Naz. Just glad you're here. Thank you. You're so sweet, guys. You are so sweet. Naz, you walked into Sporting Goods Store. Yes. That's... You know how expensive those helmets are now? They're concussion-free helmets. Not when a 250-pound guy running at 80 miles an hour and just slams his head into you. I don't know how much concussion free it is, but you'll get 15 yards out of it. How is John? He is driving. It's funny. You know, history repeats itself. 
I remember the days, I mean, not long ago, and I still do it probably, driving at night in these small, small towns on little roads because they don't have big freeways, driving through the cornfields, thinking, hoping I am on the right track because we didn't have GPS back then. We had Rand McNeely map book, and you open it, and you're hoping you're on the right, or or the map that you have to open and fold, you can never put back. Yes, how is Tally? Thank you for asking. Tally's doing great. She's doing. She was at school today and back. I miss Maha on the show. Maha and Tally watch a show called Heartland on Netflix, and that's their connection time. Today, Delilah did the surgery. The <coughs> surgery. The <coughs> uh, you know what I'm talking about. No more. Puppies, no less puppies. We never seen any of her puppies, and we will not. So she's actually drugged out. She's not moving. She's just laying there. Doesn't want to eat. Doesn't want to drink. Poor kid. But hey, it's no more <laughs> birth control pills for that puppy. That was costing me an arm and a leg. But hey, uh, it's her lifestyle that concerned me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't want to get in those moods. I can help John make fern too. Yeah, but he wouldn't find a way to get a hold of you because you're not his friend. And he didn't get the soup yet, so he had to go hungry to Illinois. All right, let's see. <laughs> Hi, let's see. Your fern still wasn't. Hello, Rita. Rita's here. Okay. All right, uh, we're keeping your whole family in prayer. Thank you, Sarah. I'm feeling better today, no congestion, maybe a little bit. But okay, let's see who else almost forgot. Frank, how are you? I beloved Frank, Poncho, Gonzo, how are you? Frank, uh, you are Native American. Uh, what an honor to have you on the show with us. I appreciate the true American. We still have the book with maps. Always good to have when no cell server. That's true. Delilah can't little the place now. No, she can't. Alrighty. Today, top 20 from last night. Top 20 from last night. I asked you, give me a bad football team name. Bad football team name. All right, people, at the top 20 of bad football team names. At number 20. The geriatrics, number 19, the smokers, <laughs> number 18, the fourth downers, number 17, the slippery, the slippery eels, number 16, the wimpies, <laughs> number 15, the butterfingers, number 14, the has-beens, number 13, the overachievers, number 12, the Washington swampers, the uh, 11, the L.A. sheep, Number 10, worst name for a football team, NFL team, the Miami Tuna Fish. At number 9, the Kansas City Thieves. At number 8, the 39ers. At number 7, the Green Bay Hackers. At number 6, the, Jacks <laughs> the Jacksonville Kitty Cats. <laughs> I'm offending people here. At number 5, the New Orleans Faints. Not Saints, but Faints. At number four, the L.A. Car Chargers. <laughs> At number three, the Snowflakes. At number two, the Wishful Thinkers. At the number one, worst name for an FL team, the Lactose Intolerance. <laughs> if these people meet the bulls or the cows, they're going to lose. Oh, that's funny. And I think Sarah, how many of you had, Sarah? Four or five of these? I didn't make the top 20. You were sleeping, Mr. Michael Ramirez. We didn't see you last night. Yes, Lipan Apache out of Texas. Lipan Apache. What an honor. No leaky faucet. Okay, let's see. Drum roll. I... When our kids were growing up, used to have the kids find where they, where we were and needed to go, how long to get there, and that sort of thing, using Rand McNeely, yes. 
Those were the funny answers last night for the football team names. Yes. I got two. Yes. Nice. I like the Detroit Kittens. <laughs> they were funny. You got number eight. Number eight for Becky. Yeah, the 39ers. That was funny. Hey, Ness. Sigh. Sighing in Wisconsin. Welcome, Matthew. Did you? You probably got couple too on the, on the top twenty. I had a cute overdose, a cutie overdose. I'm sorry. Yeah, they can do that after the fourth one. You start getting a little orange and dizzy. I had a couple on the list, not too shabby. I just keep typing and something gotta land. Yep. Well, you're funny too. The Fallas Cowgirls. The Dallas Cowgirls. Hello, Chris Martell. I don't always remember what my answers were. Did I say wishful thinkers? I think you did. Yep. That was at number two. Becky Vos. Elizabeth, I'm late. I'm here in one piece. Good. Elizabeth Gavin, tell us what city and state you're at. That's all we asked. The Green Bay Packers. <laughs> Hackers, that's what they call. Hello, Timothy Vachor is here. What's the question tonight? It's coming, Chris. Not yet. Naz and I said I was funny. I feel better now. You are funny. You know that. All right. Here we go, people. Your first question of the night. Give me the worst name or slogan for a photographer. Worst name or a slogan for a photographer or a photography shop. I can't even spell anymore. Photographer. I can take pictures, but I can't spell. All right. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, quick, quick. All right, let's see. Phone. I had number seven, number ten. Cool. Green Bay Sackers. Blackout. That's a good name. This is what Rita came up with. We shudder to think. Pick Nick photo. Get it? Pick picture Nick photo. We're underdeveloped. Photo bomb photography. Gunshots. Blackouts. Hey Brent, how are you? How's Audra? Blackouts. Gunshots. As we ask, all we ask is location, city, and state, and single. No, we don't ask for single status, Michael. You do. Shuttery shutters. Your iris is showing. <laughs> That's good. The last shot. That's good. Out of focus work. <laughs> Rosetti, how are you, my beloved? I'm so happy for you. You know why. So happy for you. Out of focus works. My place or yours? <laughs> yours, Elizabeth. Just tell us what your place. My place is Corona, California. Too much film. <laughs> Negative names. <laughs> Great one, Becky. That's funny. <laughs> Negative names. <laughs> I ain't hiring her for a wedding. That's good. That's good. You deserve a laugh. That's funny, Becky. Negative lenses. <laughs> overexposed. That's good. All right. Imagination. Imagination. Good. Your lens cap is on. Eyes wide shot. Uh, the thumbprint. Voyeurs are yours. Bruce! Bruce! Bruce Kennebra, my good friend, my beloved missionary, great father, great husband, wonderful grape farmer and raisin producer and a good friend mr bruce kennebra if you ever read my book uh you're so funny daddy learning how to communicate with your children using humor bruce is has couple stories in that and uh, they were both funny stories and I think I want to share one because really important to hear the story. When his two kids were graduating from college, they asked him to come, him and his mom, to the graduation. 
and that's it. I'm sorry, I can't. I have to work. I couldn't get the the that days off, and they were bummed, but they understood. So they were driving, and him, Bruce, and his wife made an you know a secret plan. And while they were driving, they see this homeless guy with a big sign. My kids are graduating. I need a ride. And they pull. They're like, wait, that looks like dad. So they pull over, and it's their dad. You know, <laughs> or what? You know, hitchhiking on the side of the road to pick them. Just great. It's you know, things are memorable that way when you go out of your way. So we love you, Bruce. Thank you for joining us tonight. Overexposed, arrested development. Good one, Chris. Voy voyeurs are us. By the way, Bruce is in. Um, don't tell me. Don't tell me. You can't tell me because it's uh, in Clovis. Clovis, California, which is north. Actually, he's north of Fresno. Blur blurred bobs. Zoomed in when you should be zoomed out. The dark room. All right, long range, good one. Ikea. <laughs> what does Ikea have to do with it? Ah, Mary's House of Mugshots. The, <laughs> the extortionist. Candid cameras, right. I'm in Temecula, California. All right, Elizabeth, wine country. That's very close to me. Thank you for joining us. Selfish selfies. I'm zoomed out. FBI mic mugshots and focused fingers in the way. <laughs> ah, shucks. Thank you for the laugh. Overexposed. <laughs> Welcome, Bruce. Yes, cracked lenses. Good one. You're not photogenic. Smudged. <laughs> Double trouble image. Okay, let's see. It's 851. We forgot to hydrate and share, people. We need to hydrate and share. Hydrate and share. Let's see where John is right now. He is, shoot, he got off the freeway. He's now on a different country road. See, a dad will always be a protective dad. He's on the 145 Illinois side road. Why is he going that way? Okay. All right, double trouble image. Wide lens is needed. <laughs> Blurred. Let us telephoto. <laughs> Get it? Telephoto. We did our best with what we had to work with. <laughs> I have a buddy of mine that lives there in their town. All right. See? Bruce and Frank, you guys can be friends. Say moldy cheese. <laughs> Say cheese moldy. Only from the neck down. Paint by number. Thank you, Sarah. Miss edited. Can you see me now? <laughs> Filters are us. Clovis is east of Fresno. All righty. Time to hydrate and share. Thank you, Bobby. I should have listened. Photos for the unlicensed. Don't break the camera. East of Fresno. Okay. 24 hour Instagram. Stop motion. Overexposed. Wide angles to make you look fat. All right. Please hydrate and share people. Shattered lenses. Views from the balcony. The pictures you never knew were being taken. Print and shoot. Incognito. All right. Show me the money. <laughs> Nath, are you tracking your son? Yes. Yes, I am. My, all my kids are on Find Friends. That's one of the rules because I pay for the phones and I pay for the services and I pay for everything. And one of the rules, if you, you know, remove your location, if you hide your location, I will shut the phone down. That's, that's the only rule. You hide your location, the phone will shut down. Why? Because I need to know where they are for safety reasons, no other reasons. Safety, safety, safety. Show me the money. Our camera adds 
10 pounds is not easy. Hocus focus. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Brent. We missed you, brother. Hocus focus. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. LAPD. <laughs> All right, they have Elizabeth said exposure. Show your prisms. We do it all by mirrors. School picture throwback. <laughs> Polly's paparazzis. Good. Kodak quack. Under exposure, decapitated a chance. <laughs> ah, unfitted frames, shut it off. <laughs> that is so funny, Bobby. <coughs> That's funny. Shut it up. <laughs> Shut it up. <laughs> Miracle makers, Interpol, undercover lenses, shared. Thank you. Paparazzi, RC lens, flasher. <laughs> <That's not. laughs> Can you imagine reading that? What's the name of the photographer? <laughs> flasher. <laughs> Oh, that is funny. That is funny, guys. This is funny. All right. Hidden camera. Gnarly nudes. <laughs> X-ray vision. That's a good dad. Thank you, Debbie. Out of frame. Glamour shots. My parents never let me get glamour shot. Oh, I'm sorry. Now they're called Instagram. Michelle, picture queen. I think you just won. Hocus focus. <laughs> Borrowed from the traffic camp. <laughs> now you see me, now you don't. Good, framed. Crime scene solutions. Witness protection. Lens aren't your friend. <laughs> I saw impossible. <laughs> I saw it. Wide angle lens for wide angle people. <laughs> Flash up. Freeze frames. Gender switch. <laughs> Photography. I'm a surprise. You're only fit in a panorama. <laughs> Good one. Photo chop chop. Frameless. Picasso photo. I saw impossible subjective objects. Hall of Frames, Lazy Lenses, <laughs> good one, Becky's on tonight, Glamour, oh, we never had a camera, oh, a box camera, you know that one where you go in there and then you have to, ex something have to explode to do the flash and then your your head is under this curtain and boom, you take the picture. Good night, Chris Martel. Thank you for joining us for a few minutes. F-stop. It's a real thing. Under <laughs> undercover brother, private eye. Oh, time to hydrate and... Sh All right. Almost. Time. 8.58. Bob is ahead of the game. Shots fired. <laughs> Edited Eddie's. Only box camera. Comic relief. Dusty lenses. Mission Impossible. All right, let's hydrate and share, people. By the way, there will be no show tomorrow. I'll tell you why. I am doing the men's Bible study. I think they're coming back to physical meetings. And when they do, I don't want to rush the men to leave while I'm teaching. To be able to do this and feel thrust. So every other Wednesday when I do the Bible study, there will not be a show. I'm so sorry, but that's, we have to, you know, I think it's important for these men to be able to get the full time with me. So anyway, every other Wednesday, no 
Bibles know this because of the Bible. And I'll let you know. And if uh, somehow the men cannot come, all of them say no, then we'll do the show. I'll keep you updated, but I'll, I'll let you know the day before. But that's the case. Also, this Sunday morning, I'll be teaching at uh, Hope City Church in uh, Anaheim, California. So, if you want to show up, you want to watch it. Paper bags required. Every click you make, I'll be watching you. All right, the police. <laughs> Almost clear photography. Oh, Kirk is here. Out of focus. By the way, interesting note. I am a photographer, and I named my photography business Captain Kirk's Photography. That's funny. Oh, we didn't know you're... All right. Well, you're going to enjoy those names. Photobombs. Good night, Brent. I love that hocus focus. Okay, let's see. Almost clear photography. Every click, yeah. Paper bags required. Just remind us which ones. I will. Ministry comes first. Thank you. I always feel like somebody is watching me. Another song. On your tail incognito photography. Alrighty. Click and switch. Worst name for a photography or a, a slogan. Worst slogan. We've got our iris on you. Does he get a roll? <laughs> Alrighty, you're in range. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, let me change the question on you. Okay, here's your next question. How you know when it's time to leave your job? How you know when it's time to leave your job? How you know when it's time to leave your job? Let's see. You're in range. What time and where in Anaheim? Uh, well, it's going to be at Hope at City Church on Broadway, 700 Broadway on in Anaheim on Sunday morning at 10 o'clock. How this picture will traumatize you. <laughs> the fire, they fire you. Yep, that's how you know they fire you, right, Chris? Your desk becomes a plant holder. <laughs> Your things are packed up for you, right? When they change the doors, your replacement is in your truck. <laughs> oh, no. Well, let them have that bad seat. I hope they did something about it. When the doors are shut and you can't report to work anymore, at 3 p.m. <laughs> when they tell you not to come in, right? The roach coach has your parking space. <laughs> <laughs> the, the food truck took your spot. That's funny. <laughs> Oh, that is funny. Okay. Oh, when they tell you not to come in, right? Cop escort. Oh, no, that bad. Oops, I meant to say when they change the locks on the doors, right? When your desk and chair has been moved out of your office. When you're invisible. Your parole officer shows up. You're replaced by a computer. When they have you start training... <laughs> When they have you start training your replacement. The guts on those employers. Excuse me, can you train this person <laughs> because we're firing you? Kirk said when, when your office is occupied by another person, when they start talking about company restructuring, you know, it's time the police show up to punch out. Ah, no one knows your name. When they move my cubicle to the office basement and take away my favorite stapler. Oh, your exes show up. When everyone looks surprised when you come in. 
right there. Your name is not on your office door. When your boss says we're moved on without you, can I see you? When the boss says, can I see you in the conference room, right? When they want you to come into the office for a moment, right? You're done. When my job is listed online, right? You go, wait, I like it. That's my job. Your desk is wrapped in crime scene tape. It's time to leave. Oh, that's funny. All right, how do you know it's time to leave your job? When you're so burned out, you start daydreaming about another job, right? When everyone asks where I'm going, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when, you're, when your entrance pass doesn't work at the door anymore, that's true. Okay, I eat peanut butter. Why do they have hair in my peanut butter? Is this a Middle Eastern peanut butter? And now let's check on the kid and see where my son is. He's not a kid anymore. Where are you, buddy? He is now on. Oh, he arrived in Golcondo, Illinois. Golconda, Golconda, Illinois. That's where he's is. He's in Golconda, Illinois, at a at a place. I think Motel Six would be a resort compared to that. Yeah, you know that's the only hotel available. And I think if John ever want to do a horror movie, he's gonna <laughs> use some of that footage <laughs> and that place as a as you know, for the movie. Yes, that's got to be some Middle Eastern peanut butter. It is. I got hair. Elizabeth say, hey. Yeah, he arrived. He did. Yes, he did. I'm, I'm happy now. Now I'm okay. He can, uh, he's going to be there for the next four days. But at least he'll be driving in the daytime. When you start job hunting at work, <laughs> when you don't show up, your mother-in-law says, I told you so. When they send you a happy retirement card and you did not announce retirement. When you suddenly feel like truly expressing how you feel about your boss. Yep, it's time to leave. Let's see. How do you know it's time to leave your job? Your ego. Hi, John. Your dad has told everyone exactly where you are. <laughs> yep. When you get an exit survey in your email, <laughs> when you see your office furniture listed for sale on Facebook Marketplace, if John were to do a horror movie, it would also involve some gum chasing him. Some gum chasing him? Your cubby now stores the toilet plunger. <laughs> oh no, that's funny. <laughs> ah, taking extended lunch break. When you start pranking your boss and everyone to get fired, your work cubicle has been moved to the lunchroom. <laughs> your check is written to the order of loser. <laughs> the chair to your desk is missing. They took your chair away. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, it is time now for the Guinness Book of World Record, people. Guinness Book of World Record. Guinness Book of World Record. Did you guys know what today is? Today is National Serpent Day. Huh. Your photos now have dart marks. When your job position has been posted on the company's bulletin board. Yes, your son has told us. That he has a phobia about gum. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. That's right. We can't eat gum in the house. We cannot. No, John cannot see anyone eating gum. And I thought that was just him being, you know, spoiled. But I found out that's a true phobia. So, 
That's good. That's funny. There's gum chasing him. Or the bed he's going to be at has some gum. And oh, all right. Today is National Serpent Day. National Serpent Day. And uh, a serpent is a snake. And snakes are always mentioned in the Bible as evil, as demonic. Okay. The reticulated python of Southeast Asia, Indonesia, and the Philippines regularly exceeds 20 feet. And the record length for a, a specimen shot in Celebes, Indonesia in 1912, there was a python. It was the longest ever recorded in the Guinness Book of World Records, or recorded ever. How long was that python? It was over one, over 10 feet, under 100 feet. Over 10 feet, under 100 feet. Give me your three best guesses and we'll see. Gum chewing makes noise when you're filming gum chewing isn't allowed, right? It makes noise. When you sign waivers, you know it's time. One mile, your job description ends up on the FBI list. Okay, let's see. Tomorrow, Groundhog Day. Today, Chinese New Year. That's true. When you're voted, most likely to be fired at the company picnic. Okay, let's see. Sarah said 30... What did Sarah say? 35, 45, 55. Ask Eve. Okay, that's funny. 55, 65, 76 for Frank. Dolores. 33, 47, and 73. Becky Voss, 100 feet, 57 feet. Michelle, 33, 58, 72. And let's see. Matthew, 63, 57, 44. What was the top number? 100. Over 10, under 100. 87, 68, 91. Bobby said 25, 26, 27. Becky. Altenberry, 38, 58, 68. Ruth Montemayor, how are you, Ruth? Welcome. Ruth said 38. Kirk Haverson said 20 feet, 50 feet, and 95 feet. Sarah, the Ruth and Ruby, the red hen, are not liking the question. Of course not. Currently hiding, but they took the popcorn with them. Okay, they have their priorities, right? 30, 56, 97 for Rita. Michael Ramirez, 33, 58, 72. Eve should have known she has a thing for snakes. Hi, Ruth, welcome. Alrighty, anybody else? Can you guess what's the longest python ever? It was found in Indonesia in 1912. How long was it? Over 10 feet, under 100 feet. 76 for Becky Voth. So does Adam. He was right there next to her being charmed up. Yes, people, don't be blaming Eve here. Sold. Timothy Fakhuri, 10, 20, 30. Sold. Security, security, security. Pat, 60, 72, and 45. Sold. Both rhymes with moss. All right. That's more than on the count view, 17. Sold. Okay, here we go, people. The, here's the winning number. The longest python recorded was 32 feet and 9 and a half inches. So we have three winners, people. Three winners today. The first winner is Dolores with 33. The second winner is Michelle Vullison 
from Brunswick, Ohio, who's gonna show up to my show in two weeks, I hope. Uh, she went this. Then there's a copycatter who copies, normally copies Lily, but he decides to copy <laughs> Michelle. His name is rhymes with Michelle, it's Michael. And he's also the winner. So we got three winners today that have to share this two play. So three for two play. Becky Voss, you do the math for me. Congratulations. <laughs> and with that, let's drink to that for our hydrate and share tonight. Alrighty. Yes, yes, yes. My son is in his hotel. Yes, perfect. My mom's cousin studied anacondas in Brazil. Huh, interesting. Matthew Dirk say that? Hold on, let's see. She looked more like she should be modeling than running in swamps. Wow. Uh -huh, his name rhymes with Michelle. Congratulations, Dolores, Michelle, and Michael. Yes, there's no TP in your private bathroom. <laughs> yeah, us. Congratulations, people. All right, food stamps on your desk. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, it's time to leave your job when they put food stamps. Hey, John, we now know where you are, hotel. Thanks to your dad telling us everything again. <laughs> yes. I don't think anybody can get there. It's, a it's out in the boonies. Did I mention the hotel name? I didn't. There's so many hotels around the area. Seems like we have rattlesnakes longer than that down here, right, Dolores? <laughs> rattlesnakes, right. Oh, 32 feet? That's a long. That's scary. I would. You know what? You better move, Debbie. If you have rattlesnakes longer than 32 feet, it's time to move. We did it. We did it. Michael, wait, let's get the, let's get this pronouns correct here. We, we did it. She did it. And you copied her. No, I didn't say Motel 6. I said it's worse than Motel 6. Worse. <laughs> both rhymes with bo both. Both. Right. Go team. What <laughs> What team? Wait, he sucked you into this, Michelle. Hold on. You got sucked into this, Michelle. Listen, Michael is not in the team. He just copied you. He copied you. Okay? This is like being on Jeopardy, and you say the answer, and then he copies it. And they go, you're both one. No, he copied your number. Ah, so I don't know. I don't see where the team is, where the team is. I think that you need to reevaluate what a team is, Michelle. <laughs> Copy, catch, it and win. <laughs> Here comes Bobby, the the good friend of Michael Ramirez. You go, Michael. Oh, that's here goes the support for you, Michael. So like an economy in oh, kinda Holiday Express. Nope, not that good. Your boss found out you stood up his daughter, so it's time to leave. Just kidding. It's <laughs> 32.5. Michelle, right? <laughs> okay. It's 9.18. Do we have time for another question? Okay. Give me some inappropriate reasons to throw someone a, a surprise party. This came from Rochelle's son. Okay, let's see. Uh, okay, let's see. Here's the question in the last few minutes. You have four minutes to answer. Inappropriate reasons to have a surprise party for someone, to throw a surprise party for someone. Give us some inappropriate reasons. Getting fired from your job, that's true. <laughs> I 
any TP. Well, you won. Thanks to Michelle. Can't be a, a red lion. Nope. Stay safe out there wherever you are. <laughs> yep. I have faith in you, Michael. Hmm. I know I'm not sure. <laughs> see, I talked her out of this. Good one. Okay, let's see. Inappropriate. They're leaving for a nursing home. Can you imagine? You throw a surprise party. Dressing themselves. <laughs> uh, three bark my work. <laughs> Overweight. <laughs> you give them a party. <laughs> They, they flunked college. That's a good surprise. Finally coughed up that hairball. <laughs> Baby shower when they're not pregnant. <laughs> oh, that's good. Becky is on tonight, Becky both. Because they're dying. <laughs> no surprise. That would kill them. Brushing their teeth. Oh, 789 doctor's visits. They owe you money. <laughs> All right. He's going to pay today. Here's the surprise. <laughs> they lost. They lost one of their multiple personalities. Okay. Their vehicle was repossessed. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's the wrong one. Sorry. I'll make it up for you, Dolores. Good one, Dolores. Their car was repossessed. How do you do? Uh, will you be here Thursday? We can win again. Yes. Oh, are you asking Michael? Oh, he's asking her. Oh, my teeth are falling out. Okay, you have a surprise party. A million miles on the car for their sister just because, right, first colonoscopy. <laughs> good night Timothy praying for your brother they got out of bed my hands fell off transgender operation that went wrong <laughs> oh, no. and no one knows what to bring huh <laughs> what kind of gift no oh, thanks <laughs> good night they're incontinent All right, let's see. Reasons, inappropriate reasons to throw someone a surprise party. They got a piercing. Paid, paid off college loans. Nancy's here. Hello, Nancy. Nancy Madretta got a piercing. That's good because they're losing their mind. <laughs> Having a royal flush party. The most stretch marks. <laughs> they took a great selfie. Oh, you throw a party because they got a root canal. Okay, that's a good one. All right, it's 9.23, people. It is time for... It is time for prayer request. If you have a prayer request, then it's the time to do it. No college accepted them having the most gray hair. Uh, they saved 15% on their car insurance. Voted more than once. <laughs> ah, okay. Amy is here. Attended church on non-holiday service. They sounded like a creepy old house's doorbell. That does kidney stones. Oh, no. All right, prayer request time. Give me your prayer request. Hi from Highland, California. Work at Cole's Warehouse in San Bernardino. Dragging my body at work tonight. Well, we're praying for you, Amy, to get energy so you can do your job. Unspoken for Lily. Okay. All right. And anybody else needs prayer? Pray for this Sunday service at the church in Anaheim. Complete congestion healing, please. 
for you guys. Let's see. Pray for John for safety for the next few days. My sister having surgery. All right, Frank, we'll be praying for your sister for her surgery with for the doctors and for her to be completely easy surgery. Anybody else? Just reminding you tomorrow, no show tomorrow because I have my men's Bible study. My, my son and I still need needing jobs. All right, Nancy. Again, remind me what city are you at and what kind of work you guys looking for. You never know. Matthew, keep me in prayer fighting depression. <sighs> keep Remy in prayer for his health issues. Prayer for John and M for their health issues as well. Okay, we're praying this this whole COVID uh, side effects still, what do you call it, lingering longer than they should. Maggie Jo and her sons, respective eye injuries to be completely healed. We will. For Tonga, for Cole's Warehouse is hiring. Okay. Also, some unspoken that are related. Okay, we'll be praying. More gigs for Nath. Thank you, Sarah. Pomona. Okay. Pomona, remote work from home, computer-based. Okay. What about your son? And spoken for Sarah, the whole world, our nation. Already. We will be praying. Uh, Canada and U.S. Truckers Resolution. Oh, that's right. Stella and Remington. Yes, keep them in prayer. I, I need to talk to their dad tomorrow. Facebook prisoner. <laughs> go. Got to go. Good night, Catherine. Thank you for joining us. All right, guys. Same. Dispatchers for truck. He's dispatcher for trucks. Okay, same thing. Are you looking for a truck company for Nas to be healed? Don't worry, I don't need a cross. <laughs> All right. Just want to encourage you people, prayer works. We have access to the throne of God, and it's just when you just sit there and talk to the Lord. He knows already what you want without you asking him, before you ask, but he wants you to ask. And just remember, thy will be done, O Lord. That's the most important prayer. This is what I want, but let your will be done. I want to do what you want, Lord. I want you to know, Lord. I am just want to remind you, I know you never forget, but I want to do your will. This is my desire. This is my prayer. This is from my, my own wisdom and my own finite mind. This is what I think would be the best for me. That healing, that job, that relationship, that that thing. That's the best for me. But you're an infinite God and you, you're, you have all the wisdom. So you tell me, I want to do your will. So let me, let me know that. Give me that wisdom if that's what you want for me. And I will do it. I'm willingly, 100%, I'm down. Amen. Let's all pray for Naz. Okay, because he is such a blessing to all of us for doing this show each night. We all love you, brother. Thank you. Love you too, Kirk. Thank you, brother. For all the frontline workers, including Sophia Law and Audra Reed. Right. Amen. Amen. Menopause. All right, we're praying for menopause. My business to grow. Okay, we're praying for your business to grow. God is a good father. He really does care for and about us he does amen menopause survivor <laughs> all right well guys thank you so much for tonight thank you for the laughter 
I hope you laughed too. I hope you had a great time. So uh, hopefully I'll see you Thursday night. Tomorrow no show, men's Bible study. Alrighty, well, God bless you guys, and thank you so much. Have a great night.